All right, so we have information for a number of different stores. We have our gross pay for each of our employees, and we want to go ahead and subtotal that gross pay so I can see how much each store spent uh, this week on payroll. Now, I could go ahead, get out my calculator and a piece of paper and pick all these numbers out and add them up, and that'd be great, right? No, <laughs> don't do that. We got a lot better way we can do it. There is a great subtotal tool built right into Excel, and let's go ahead and let's take a look. We'll go to our data tab and we will see it right here, subtotal. Now, before we hit that, what we need to do is sort our data according to the groups we want to subtotal. So I want to do the subtotaling by store. So I'm going to go ahead and sort by my store number so that all of the store numbers are grouped together. 60159, 60540, 60613, 426, 714, etc. So all of my groups that are to be subtotaled are grouped together. Now I'm going to go to my subtotal button and I get this window. And it's going to ask me first at each change in, and what it's doing here is looking at the column headers. So at each change in, in other words, every time whichever one of these column headers, the criteria in there, changes, do a subtotal. Now we said we wanted the subtotal by the store number. So we'll select that drop down and choose store number. Use function sum, which is exactly what we want. And you'll see that we have here the different criteria that we can subtotal. Well, it doesn't make us any good to subtotal anything really, except maybe the hours and the gross pay, but we just want the gross pay. So we got that selected and choose OK. And look at that. At the bottom of each one of my groups, it puts in another row and gives me that subtotal. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? And if I scroll all the way down, I've got my grand total. Now wait, it gets even better. I know you're saying, Bill, how can it get better than that? Well, look over here to the left. You see we have this column. This is an outline. We've also created an outline or group of groups for our worksheet here. We have three numbers, one, two, and three, one being the top level. Well, let's go ahead and let's click on that number one and see what happens. See that? It collapsed everything. It hid all of the rows except the final one, the grand total. And if I click that plus sign, they'll open up. And you can kind of see what's going on here. See, this is the second group, the second level of groups. Let's collapse that by clicking on the minus sign. And you see, it gives me the subtotals. It's just showing me the subtotal row and collapsing or hiding the rest. If I click on number two, it does all of those. Now, I can get them all to expand simply by clicking on number three and that'll open everything back up. So let's say I do number two and I see, wow, these guys spent a lot of money. What's the deal? And I want to expand just their group. I can go ahead and do that. And that's subtotals. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.